Hey guys, Pondo checking in once again. So today is uh, March 6th, 2015. Um, today again, once again, it's going to be a little bit different. It's going to be a vlog. And uh, I wanted to show you guys this house that I'm currently in escrow in. So um, if you were watching my videos uh, a few days ago, uh, you realized that I did um, a walkthrough of a model home that I said I was going to buy. But, um, you know, happened what may. Uh, luckily, uh, basically a big deal just fell in my lap and I was able to uh, get into escrow in a house a thousand times, um, a thousand square foot bigger. <clears throat> Lot also is a bigger size and a better location and a much uh, more renowned builder. So this is a house built by Richmond American. It's a corner lot. It's, it's two story, 3,400 square foot. Um, and the garage is, as you can see right there, it's a three car, uh, three bay garage. Which also provides, you know, a three driveway um, garage. As you can see, the front of the house is huge. Um, the lawn is already done. It's done well. You know, it's not too much grass. And the curb appeal is awesome. So that really ties into the, um, the curb appeal definitely ties into resale value and how well the house sells. I like the design. It's very um, Mediterranean. Uh, the, the stone, you know, is a little bit of craftsman. And the color, I, I really like the color. It's very um, Adobe Southern, Southern California uh, look. As you can see, a little patch of grass, not too much, not too much to water. The neighborhood is, uh, it's pretty, it's large. The, the spaces between the houses are great. Um, so I really like that. So I'm going to give you guys a tour of the inside of the house as well. As you can see, this is the uh, front entrance. Um, as you walk on in, there's a large living living space. You can have either a dining table or, you know, a sofa set. Um, big windows to the front. This house all provides a lot of big windows, a lot of big light. It's really important. Also, it really makes the space of the house, increases the size of, the, uh, of everything. This is an upgrade right here. This is a, what they call a butler's kitchen. Or, uh, I, th I hope I got that right. But anyways, the pantry is plenty large. You could walk in, you could store enough food from Costco or Sam's Club or wherever you go shopping. Um, this house uh, was actually somebody. Somebody was in escrow in this house, and uh, when they were when they were selling it, um, the the buyers, the original buyers, put sixty five thousand dollars worth of upgrades in it. As you can see, there's a double oven. Um, there's upgraded countertops, upgraded uh, cabinets, and things like that. Um, none of these were originally my options. Um, personally, I prefer, you know, a white kitchen with white granite. Stainless steel is cool. I love stainless steel. But, um, you know, this, uh, you know, everything in here I could definitely work with. It's, uh, it's not my style, but it definitely does look nice and I could, I could get used to it. Um, so as you can see, it's a large, great amount of counter space, nice deep, uh, kitchen sink. And I love having a window. Uh, based right in front of the sink so whenever you're you know doing your doing your chores washing your dishes you're still able to look outside and it's not so enclosed like I said everything in this house is upgraded um, upgraded cabinetry you got a trash bin um, right there I love having that I don't like having a trash can outside it doesn't get in the way and even the cabinets they're they're the soft closed cabinets as you can see I like the countertop burner as well it's really easy much much easier to clean this is my um, my island. It uh, also provides us a good table. Um, the, the the tiling, as you can see, it's throughout the house. It's all throughout the wet areas and all throughout downstairs. It's actually pretty. Um, it's nice. Initially, I didn't really like it too much because I prefer wood, uh, the wood look. But the tile seems to uh, grow on me every time that I go into this house and, and take a look at it. It's really hardy and it's really easy to clean as well. And it, it matches, you know, everything about this house. It's very Southern California. Love the big windows. As you can see, the backyard is landscaped already. Uh, I asked the um, the salesperson and he said that's about an eight, seven, eight thousand dollar upgrade on its own. So that's great. Also, there's a media panel right there and included in this house is a pre-wiring. If you look in the see, if you look closely, you'll see there's five slots for a 5.1 speaker system. So that's that's great. That's excellent. To do that aftermarket would probably cost you maybe two or three thousand dollars on its own. Great big space here. Um, as you can see right here, it leads into the bed downstairs bedroom. There's a downstairs bedroom. If I ever do decide on renting this um, room to anybody, it'd be great just because it's you know it's downstairs. It's easy. 
to um, for privacy for them. It comes with a big walk-in closet, so um, it provides a lot of amenities as well for whoever wants to live down there. This is the powder room, which also doubles as the uh, downstairs shower, as you can see. Um, we've got a few things to upgrade. I'm going to upgrade that that faucet fixture. I'm going to up upgrade the shower fixture as well. I like the big bowl toilets. As you can see, the granite and the cabinets do continue on into all the bathrooms. Great big storage area under the stairs. Great for boxes and for leftover stuff. Here's the garage. This is going to be um, the business area. For all you guys who are following me, you know that I'm a big proponent of having a garage gym. So this is going to be great. I'm going to literally fill this place up with as much top tier equipment as I can find. So it's going to be really exciting, guys. Um, if I haven't asked already, if you follow me, if you watch my workout videos, um, I'm definitely going to have a lot more awesome stuff to come. Oh, right here. This is the pride and joy of my house. Um, as you can see, there's a 12 panel solar system um, already included in the price. Um, it's on the roof and it's basically producing, you know, as much electricity as I'm going to be using in the summer with their air conditioning running. So, and so this is a Southern California house. It's totally upgraded, upgraded to the brim, totally energy efficient. There's the driveway. There's my little Civic, and as you can see, my neighbor's houses are still being built as we speak. It's a beautiful neighborhood. Going upstairs, um, I didn't really like how the uh, there's a knee wall or a pony wall. Um, originally, they didn't upgrade it to the they didn't upgrade it at all to um, stair rails or or banisters or anything like that. But that's something that I'm going to be doing in the future. Here we got a huge loft. It's um it's plenty large. It's almost as big as my living room downstairs. Comes with a lot of um a lot of windows and you definitely can see the outside world from it. As you can see the view from the front is beautiful. There's just mountains and big sky. Um being a corner lot, you're not um suffocated by other houses in the neighborhood. As you can see there's a lot of space between my house and the other houses. And so I'm just literally surrounded by a lot of big open space, by, by streets and by how, by trees. Um, as you can see, the houses there are pretty beautiful as well. So it's not, <clears throat> they're well designed and <clears throat> they look pretty good. Moving along, I wanted to show you guys a quick view of the uh, other bedrooms. As you can see, there's one here. This this bedroom is um, has great views from it. it has a large walk-in closet. This house comes with uh, four four bedrooms, I believe. There's four bedrooms. Wait a minute. I think I believe there's five bedrooms. There's four bedrooms upstairs, and uh, you know the guest bedroom downstairs. This this view is pretty nice. Um, I wanted to talk about the carpeting. It's upgraded. It's about uh, three quarter inch thick, so underfoot it's really, really soft and, and uh, squishy and fluffy. So it's really comfortable with uh, without your shoes on. I don't let anybody walk in my shoes, walk into my house with their shoes on because I'm Asian. Uh, walking along, I want to change those doorknobs, uh, but I do like the six panel door, as you can see right there. It's a nice design. My last house had the same design. Um, here's the upstairs guest or uh, secondary bathroom. The, I'm glad that they decided to uh, add two sinks in this bathroom. You see there's a large toilet bowl, which has a view on its own. So when you're doing your business, you could look out into the mountains and the sky. Really cool. I'm going to have to add some window coverings there. I also negotiated them down into um, giving me window coverings and a refrigerator. So I'm going to be having that option soon, the closer I am to closing escrow. Um, so I'm in a 60 day escrow, so I'm going to close on this house. I would say around May, which is going to be, um, here soon enough. Anyways, this is a very large laundry room. As you can see, there's plenty of shelving space, um, uh, set up for washer and dryer. And look at this, uh, linen closet. It's, I think, I believe it is actually bigger than my pantry downstairs. So I might even include some, um, you know, Nutri-Grain bars and power bars and everything in that, in that room. So that's really, really sweet setup. Here's bedroom number um, four right here. Not too much of a view here, so it's it's kind of like a, you know, it's 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 always good to have an extra bedroom. Probably will turn one of those guys into a study or a library or a den or even a game room. There's going to be a lot of options for me. So this is the master bedroom. It's huge. I believe it's um, 
Uh, I don't know the exact specs, but looking in, it's like 25 by 10 or 15 feet. Here's the view of the neighborhood again. Absolutely beautiful. There's, you know, big open spaces here and so in the in in my location here in Southern California. This is this location is actually also on top of a hill. It's brand new. It's very prestigious. Um, so definitely, you know, moving up in the world. As you can see, the backyard is it's really well done. It's actually landscaped completely. Um, and that was obviously in, an incentive for me to purchase this house and, uh, you know, to close escrow. Um, what actually happened was uh, somebody was in escrow um, on this house, you know, and uh, when they fell out, I was able to swoop right in and uh, basically negotiate them down $50,000. So I was able to literally save $50,000 by moving into this house right after somebody fell out of escrow. It's kind of like um, if you go to an airport and you're just basically looking for open seats if somebody ever didn't show up. It's really cool. I don't know. It's It's an interesting concept, but at the end of the day, I was able to save a lot of money and, and get a lot of house for almost the same price that I was going to get with the, the one story that I previewed earlier. So this is the bathroom. Um, definitely got a lot of work to make that uh, a showpiece. Uh, huge walk-in closet. As you can see, this place is almost as big as some of the bedrooms I've lived in before. And I believe this window here is an upgrade. Um, so you could definitely look into the outside world as you're changing. Uh, or deciding what you're gonna wear. My girlfriend's probably gonna take up most of this room. So that's the master bath. As you can see, the cabinets and the granite continue on throughout all the wet areas as well as the tiling. So the next up, I wanted to show you guys a little bit of the backyard. There you guys go. So, you know, it's nice flat open space, um, big space. There's the air conditioning. It's going to be awesome in the summer, especially when it's free from the solar panels. The side yard is amazing. So, you know, no neighbors on the left. And I believe it's like 20 feet from um, the, the side of my house. So there's so much room I could do. I could pave that area and make a little grilling grill space. I have two shade trees, two baby shade trees ready to grow. Um, mulch, uh, mulching done. I got some baby uh, bushes and some little plants in there. I can't wait for those to grow. There's the back of my house. Lots of windows. Really, really privated. As you can see, this is where the back is. A big open street. I'm not, a, you know, I'm not adjacent to some other guy's house, and I could see their 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 backyard and anything like that. So it's very privated. I just have that one neighbor to the right hand side as you can see right there i'm probably gonna develop a patio cover soon soon after i move in and also pave put a little cement uh in the back also just for for more uh, livable space all right guys so that's the uh, new house that i'm an escrow in i'll keep you guys up updated i'll keep you guys posted on the progress also um i wanted to um let you guys uh, introduce you to the workout today. Today is Shaco 29. It's going to be week three, day one. Uh, so the third week, the beginning of the third week, today's going to be um, low bar squat. It's going to be a little bit heavier. Um, there's going to be a push workout in the middle. It was supposed to be bench press, but um, I threw in overhead press. I uh, wanted to, I uh, didn't want to neglect the overhead press. And at the end of my workout, I decided to use the safety bar squat for some volume work. Um, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Um, if you like my content, please do hit that like button. If you have any questions for me, uh, please feel free to leave it in the comment section below. And if you frequent my channel and you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Enjoy the workout and uh, lift something heavy. See you guys later. Peace out.
Back knocked out a little bit there. Got stuck. Yeah. <laughs> 